Everything that we've done through the graphical user interface, setting up the simulation, running and analyzing results, can also be done through the script. In the script file editor, open the associated script file. This script file modifies the simulation setup, runs it, then plots the gain and free spectral range. Let's walk through the script. The switch to layout script command can be used to switch back to layout mode if the simulation has been run and is in analysis mode. Then the length property of straight waveguide 1 is modified by using the setName command, which takes as arguments the name of the element, the property to set, and the value to set the property to. Note that when setting values from the script, the units are always in SI base units. So even though we set the units in the length property to millimeters when we are setting up the straight waveguide element, we need to specify the length in meters when setting from the script. The run command runs the simulation. The get results script command collects results. The arguments include the object name to collect results from and the name of the result to collect. The result name to specify here is the same as the name of the result shown in the table view of the result view window. So here we are collecting the gain result from input 1, mode 1, and from input 2, mode 1, as well as the free spectral range result from the peak analysis for input 2, mode 1. Next, the visualize command is used to plot the gain spectrum from the through and drop ports in the same plot and the free spectral range in a separate window. As a comparison, we calculate the theoretical free spectral range using the formula FSR equals C divided by NG times L, where NG is the group index and L is the total perimeter length of the ring. We print this result to the script prompt by using the question mark operator. Details about the syntax for the script commands used in this script file and some example code can be found in the related links below this video.